Good morning students. Today we are going to learn uh, lesson number 7. Name of the lesson is Packing. This is really very wonderful piece of text which has been taken from a novel. Name of the novel is Three Men in a Boat. Okay. And the novel is written by Jerome K. Jerome. Here the novel deals about the journey or a voyage of three friends. Okay. Uh, who were about to go uh, uh, go uh, to a lake for uh, fishing and boating for few days okay so before that uh, trip they started packing and how these three fellow did the packing the whole incident has been taken are expressed in a narrative form by Jerome K. Jerome. So let us start now. I said I'd pack. Here I represents to the narrator. Here narrator means the writer means Jerome K. Jerome. I said I'd pack. Narrator said don't worry I'll pack it. I rather pride myself on packing. Packing is one of those many things that I feel I know more about than any other person living. So, uh, here the narrator is a kind of brag. He used to love boasting about uh, his quality and his skills. So, the narrator thought, actually, narrator thought that he can pack the things very well rather than any other person living on the world. Clear? So, the narrator informed the other two friends who, uh, who was in narrator's room who were also in the narrator room at that moment uh, and before starting packing narrator said don't worry I'll I'll pack it because he thought he can pack far better than his friends it surprised me myself sometimes how many such things there are here the narrator says, not only packing, he also can do a lot many things as like expertise. Okay. Like an expert, there are lots of different kind of skills are there he can do or perform the work. So, packing is one of them. I impressed the fact upon George and Harris. George and Harris were the other two friends of our narrator, Jerome. And told them, that they had better leave the whole matter entirely to me. Natter said, don't worry, leave the whole matter, I will handle it, I will pack it myself. So they fell into the suggestion with a readiness that had something uncanny about it. As soon as the narrator informed both of his friends that don't get worry, I will do it or I will uh, handle it. So they got relaxed, completely relaxed. That somehow, uh, somehow uncanny means it's a kind of uh, ill omen, means uh, bura, kya bolte, ingit ya, aise ghatna jiska andaja hum pehle, bura ghatna jiska andaja hum pehle laga sakte hai, ya pehle laga lete hai. To the narrator guessed there is something going to happen bad. So that's why Ankani is used. Uh, George spread himself over the easy chair. George got re relaxed and he spread his arms over the easy chair and Harris cocked his leg on the table. Harry, Harris kya kiye? Table ke upar apne uh, pair ko moorte huye bad gai. Or George pura hat pair faila ke arm chair pe aram karne lage. This was hardly what I intended. Then narrator said, this was hardly what I intended. What I had meant of course was that I should boss the job and that Harris and George should potter about under my directions. <laughs> then uh, the narrator Jerome says that the way they reacted means Harish and George reacted it was totally unexpected by him because for uh, taking over the matter or handle the matter that means actually the narrator wanted to instruct how to pack 
and as per his instruction george and harry should walk okay but uh, but uh, it just happened opposite of it opposite uh, of his expectation i pushed them as a sorry uh, i pushed them aside very now and then oh you yeah let me do it there you are simple simple enough really teaching them as you might say they are taking it in the way they did irritated me the narrator said the way they had reacted it, it 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 really irritated him because he wanted to give the instruction to george and harris and sometimes let them correct their mistakes by saying oh oh you there uh, let me do it enough in, enough is enough uh, now let me handle it like this way he actually wanted to boss the job but the but the way they reacted or they took it it irritated uh, our narrator jerome there is nothing does irritate me more than seeing other people sitting about doing nothing when i am working <laughs> then narrator said that one of the most irritating thing which narrator uh, uh, to the narrator when he used to work and some uh, someone else uh, used to sit over there idly and look at him working so it really made the uh, narrator uh, almost mad or irritated so i lived with a man once who used to make me mad that way he would loll on the sofa and watch me doing things by the hour together he said it uh, did him real good to look at look on at me messing about then narrator shared an previous experience so when narrator used to stay uh, shared a room with another person and who used to do the same thing means the narrator used to do uh, the household works or whatever he used to do the his friends used to loll on sofa means used to lie down on sofa and look at him doing the things and doing lots of mistakes so thus in this way narrator got much more irritated better to say got mad about him now i am like i am not like that i can't sit still and see another man slaving and working i want to get up and superintend it superintend and walk around with my hands in my pocket and tell him what to do it's my energetic nature i can't help it <laughs> that person with whom the narrator used to stay he only used to lie down on the, on the sofa and used to only see or look at the other person to do things but narrator said that it was not his kind of habit because he cannot lie down or stay calm on uh, sitting over some something he the it it is his energetic nature that uh, he used to stand up and uh, uh, by putting his hand in both uh, back he used to uh, go round the place means uh, look over the matter and used to rectify the persons or people involved in that uh, work uh, don't do this way do that way like this kind of instruction he used to involve in it and this is his energetic nature and he can't help it means he cannot do without doing this okay he can't help without doing this however i i did not say anything but stared the packing but this time he there is uh, no more way to do so he uh, wanted to start the packing so before packing he looked at the things which are the things he uh, need to pack now it seemed a longer job than i had thought it was going to be and then narrator thought that the i thought it will uh, take only a few minutes but i uh, right now he uh, started to guess that it will take a lot more time rather uh, the time he expected i got the bag finished at last and i sat on it and stuffed it finally 
the narrator started packing and it took a lot of time and he finally strapped the bag means bind the bag with its belt and uh, sat over the bag clear aren't you going to put the boots in said harris when the narrator finally packed the bag and bind and strapped the bag then harris said are you not going to uh, put your boots in in that bag and i looked around and found i had forgotten them when i looked around and i found really i forgot to pack my boots in that's just like harris means the poet want uh, sorry the narrator wanted to say this is the uh, usual character or usual nature of harris he could say he could inform me about the boots before uh, strapping the bag but no he kept watching me doing nothing or uh, rectifying me in neither way finally when i stopped completed uh, then he said this is a this is really very irritating kind of harris he couldn't have said a word until i had got the bag shut and strapped of course and george laughed one of those irritating uh, senseless laughs of his they do me so wild they do make me so wild and when i felt a kind of fool uh, when i saw the boots which uh, which i supposed to packed in but it was left harris sorry george looked at me and started laughing on me and that made me almost mad so wild i opened the bag and packed the boots in and then just as i was going to close it a horrible idea occurred to me had i packed my toothbrush i don't know how it is but i uh, but i never uh, do know whether i have packed my toothbrush when once again he opened the bag and finally put the boots in and again when he was about to close uh, shut the bag or uh, strap the bag a horrible idea a sudden idea occurred to his mind and he started thinking whether he had uh, packed the brush in or not because every time the narrator while packing somehow mistakes or uh, fails to pack the brushes in my toothbrush is a thing that haunts me when i am traveling then in this part narrator was uh, explaining his previous uh, um, experiences about toothbrush whenever whenever he used to travel or uh, every time he somehow uh, miss the toothbrush and it creates a huge problem and making my life a misery and where uh, whether he had kept put in the toothbrush or not uh, he, he had to find uh, once again look uh, into the bag and uh, somehow go to the bathroom and wash to uh, watch with uh, see whether it is over there or not. so in this way he it the toothbrush make a hamper i dream that i haven't packed it and wake up in a cool uh, respiration and get out of bed and hunt for it get out of bed and hunt for it the narrator realized that he thought that he had not packed the toothbrush in okay so suddenly uh, he woke up from his bed means here bed means on the bed he was uh, he was sitting and over uh, packing the things i think so so he went to the place where he used to keep the toothbrushes at home and in the morning i pack it before i have used it sorry so every time he used to uh, forget and in the morning he used to take the toothbrush from his bathroom and he keep and he put the toothbrush into his bag or baggage uh, without brushing and i have to unpack again it and it is always the last thing i turn out the bag and then i repack and forget it and have to rush up stairs uh, for it at last moment and carry it to the railway station wrapped up in my pocket handkerchief so after brushing he used to keep the toothbrush uh, on its uh, usual uh, place uh, and uh, this time and this is the last thing he used to um, uh, 
uh, take out from the bag and he used to forget what happens then at the last moment when he is about to leave the room or leave the house he somehow remember about the toothbrush and he used to rush to the up, uh, upstairs and find the toothbrush and um, and wrap the toothbrush in uh, with his uh, pocket handkerchief and keep it into the pocket and take it into the railway station so this is the part up to point number 5 Uh, it's uh, going to be much more interesting in the later uh, part so till uh, uh, till now whatever the part i have explained hope you have understood it and uh, once again you just listen to the video and read the um, read the story if possible then complete the whole story then you will have an uh, idea and you will uh, really uh, enjoy the story if you will start reading of your own Thank you